This week's Vlogmas is sponsored by Malin and Getz. Welcome to week two of I just woke up right now and I'm gonna get the week started. I have to wash my hair today. I'm doing the full rundown today. Hair wash, skincare, like kind of like a, I don't wanna say self care, but just kind of like getting things together. If all goes well, I'm supposed to be moving next week so no pressure <laughs> i ended up calling yesterday yesterday the day before yesterday to just like double double check to make sure that everything's looking good because oh my like, what's going on outside anyway I called to like double check because they already moved my move-in date once before. I was supposed to move a few weeks back when I did my like life update video for you guys and then it changed. So that kind of changed a lot of different things but I'm supposed to be moving next week and um, it's gonna get pretty hectic around here because of course I'm doing vlogmas and then I also have to try to film a holiday gift guide video in between all of this and pack and wrap gifts and just do the whole nine should be interesting but aside from that yesterday was sunday and i'm not necessarily vlogging on sundays but i did vlog a little bit yesterday because i got my nails done so i'm gonna roll the clip of that in a little bit and then i did a haul too because i had to go to stock up on my shampoo my conditioner and stuff because i'm gonna need that to wash my beautiful hair today <laughs> so i'm gonna roll those clips right now I just made it back home and I went to go stock up on some stuff that I was low on and then I just uh, got a few new things. So I went to Sephora to stock up on my shampoo and my conditioner because I just ran out and then I got a few more things. So this is the shampoo and conditioner that I've kind of been into as of lately. And so I got those and then I decided to try the Moroccan oil intense hydrating mask too because... I originally had ordered the mini version of it, but they weren't in stock. So then I saw this one while I was checking out just to try it out. I'm sure this will last me a few weeks because I don't go through a lot and then I don't wash my hair every day. So that'll probably last me like maybe two, three weeks. And I also got this Verb Ghost Hairspray because I've been looking for a hairspray that is kind of like an invisible hold and it doesn't leave my hair flaky and stuff. Also wanted to try out the Brio Geo Frizz Blow Dry Cream. I think I tried this like a few years back and then I just got this Makeup Forever H Ultra HD concealer. I was reading the description of this one. It's supposed to be a medium natural finish concealer medium coverage i should say we'll do ulta and then i'll do victoria's secret i got a new straightener because this is another one of those things that i've kind of been looking for a good thin one i'm gonna give this one a try i didn't even look at the reviews in store usually i'll take some time to look at reviews before i purchase stuff but i was kind of in a rush a pump from mac because i need it for my l'oreal foundation and then this is the clarifying shampoo that I use for my wash days too. This like cleans your hair. I've been using this one for years too, but they changed up the packaging. It used to be in a white bottle, like a white big bottle, but now it's in this gray like sleek bottle. So I just got another one of those because I just ran out of that. So there's that. Got some PJs from Victoria's Secret. I was looking for cute holiday pjs they had some there but they were like plaid ones or like i don't know they just weren't 
the ones that I was looking for online. They were on sale. They were having a sale today. Instead of being $80, they were on sale for 40% off all of their PJs. So these, this is a long sleeve and a pant set. So now we're back in real time. My phone is going off early in the morning and I love my nails. I'm gonna see how long I can stick to them because I get tired of designs very easily, which is why I always do basic neutral colors. But I'm gonna try to stick to this design until Christmas, which that's how it looks. It's cute. The shape is a little more round than I was hoping. I wanted it to be in between like almond and round, if that makes sense. I don't know. And then the poor Rudolph, his antlers are like all the way up to my cuticle, to my skin up here. She did it a little bit too high, but you know, aside from that, I think the design is cute. Red French tip with a little bit of glitter. But yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get out of bed and get the day started. First things first with my hair wash routine is the Redken Hair Cleansing Cream. This is a clarifying shampoo, so I'm telling you right now, you are going to need a deep conditioner because this can get very drying if you don't follow up with nourishing products. After that, I go ahead and do a second shampoo with my Moroccan Oil Shampoo. This one I like mainly because of the scent, so I just kind of add that on top. And it also adds an additional cleansing step. And then this is the part where I do my hydrating mask. Pretty much for all my wash days, I always do a hydrating mask because I wash my hair once a week. While my hair is deep conditioning, I'm going to jump into a little bit of body care using the Malin and Getz holiday sets. The three sets I chose are the Make It a Double set, the Saving Face set, and the Handy Lip Kit set. First, using the Malin and Getz Grapefruit Face Cleanser. This is their best selling cleanser. It's simple, it's gentle yet effective, and it removes makeup, dirt, and oil while toning and improving the look of your skin without drying or stripping it. Next is the Rum Hand and Body Wash. It's their hand and body cleansing gel that lathers into a rich, thick foam to wash away dirt, sweat, and any debris. And this particular one that I'm using has more of a sweet and spicy scent. By the time I finish doing my face routine and my body routine, my hair is pretty much ready for a rinse out. So here I'm just rinsing out that deep conditioner as my last and final shower step. Of course, stepping out of the shower, I jump into putting on some of my skincare. I'm putting on a little bit of moisturizer, and then I'm also adding a little bit of sunscreen just because you still want to put sunscreen on even in the winter. Then taking the Malin and Getz Rum Body Lotion and applying this for extra moisture all over my body. Malin and Getz uses natural ingredients to create simple and luxury skincare fragrance, and they also have candles. Because their products are so universal, I feel like they have a gift set for just about anyone that you may have on your holiday list, or even just for yourself. If you'd like to try out any of the sets, I do have a code with them. It's Sabrina20, and that gets you 20% off an entire order on malinandgetz.com. While my laundry is going, I'm going to let this hair air dry. I already need to kind of dye my hair because the light brown is peeking through. I feel like I just dyed it not too long ago. 
but I'm gonna put this in my hair. This is the Briogeo Farewell Frizz Blow Dry Perfection and Heat Protectant Cream. That's a very long name, <laughs> but I want to see how this does with my hair. My hair is nice and uh, moisturized and deep conditioned, which I love to start off the week with my hair done. So I cannot wait to get this blow dried. But also, you know what? I'll use the, cause when I posted it on my story, some of you guys were like, we need an update on the T3 blow dry brush, that new one that, I think it's new that came out. They just sent it to me for PR and I tried it the other day and I really like it. So I'll uh, show you guys how that works on my hair. This is how my hair looks. Um, my face looks a little red because I'm like cleaning up the whole house. But this is my hair like almost, almost fully dry. So I get asked if my hair is like still curly or not because I'll be straightening it and it is. If I did a big chop, which would mean I would cut all of this off, I would still have my curls all in there. But obviously we're not gonna do that because I always straighten out my hair. And um, you know, I get asked why I don't like to wear my hair curly and i would like to i just don't have the patience for my hair i really don't at least not wear it when it's curly because i have so much hair i think a lot of times people assume that curly hair is like you know super effortless and easy but it's not at least not my curly hair like my curly hair if i were to do a wash and go i would have to do do it again like every day it wouldn't last me longer than a day as soon as i go to sleep wake up my hair would be back to like needing to do another wash and go so it's kind of like i'd be washing my hair and styling my hair every single day as opposed to when i straighten it and blow dry it i style it once and it lasts me throughout the entire week and i'll just touch up my curls or my roots or whatever so it's just easier for me it's not for everybody but for those that ask me to rock my curly hair is a no. <laughs> Unless y'all wanna come over here and style my hair every single day for me. Uh -uh. This is the tool that I was talking about that they sent me, it's from T3 Micro. It comes with a round brush and then it comes with this one here. So today I'm gonna use this one. I usually like to use this one for my bangs because I do have like curtain bangs or whatever. I hate when this fan turns off. Anyway, so I mainly go in with this one first to blow dry it straight-ish. Cause my hair, no matter who does it, no matter what tool I use, it never blow dries completely straight from my roots. I always, 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 always have to go in with a straightener for my roots because like I said, even if I go to a salon and get it done, my they can never ever get my roots to be completely straight and sleek with just a blow dryer. So I just kind of use this to stretch out my hair and to straighten it, like rough straighten it. And then I go over top with my straightener or my L'Oreal steam pot to get like those blowout curls. So. The way that this works, there's a hair on it. The way that it works is you just turn it on back here. You could use it in a cool setting or you can use it just regular. So you turn it on right there. There's a lock button right here so that you can remove the little thingy. And then on the front, I think this is so that you use it on high, like an ultra speed. This right here is to control the temperature and then this controls the fan. So this this is the speed, so I don't even know what this would be. Let me try it. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I just use it with everything cranked up because I have a lot of hair and it's thick, so I just give me all the hair. For 
further stretch it while it cools down. I put my hair in these space buns. Just twist it around. And this stretches out my root area a little bit more. And then when it cools, it also is more in like a wave. Once this side is up in the space bun, I let it cool for maybe like 10 minutes and then I start the straightening and the curling process. And I'll take this time to do more things around the house while my hair cools down like this. So funny, but isn't this like the, the thing right now, the trend? Little space buns or ma what are they calling them? Like matrix? It's been a lot longer than I normally let my hair cool down, but I ended up doing some more laundry, doing the bed. I ordered a new cover for my mattress and I'm getting rid of the one that was on there because it was already about that time. And then I also ordered, no, I didn't. I was looking at bed spreads, but I couldn't really find any, so I'm just gonna keep looking. But I'm gonna try out the straightener that I showed you guys in the haul earlier. I was reading the reviews, I ended up hopping on Ulta and reading some, and it was saying that it tends to snag your hair, which I'm hoping it doesn't, because that's gonna be an issue. That's usually what causes breakage, so I'm gonna try it, but I'm gonna keep the packaging just in case it doesn't work out for me. okay oh yeah I could feel it snagging my hair yeah there's a little piece on there Ooh, I don't know about that so I run the straightener that straightener through you could use this but the thing with this one is that I find it doesn't get too close to my root I like to use a different straightener for that and then I just use this one to get the blowout curl effect like that and I just follow the same thing all around my hair I'm about halfway through, so I'm gonna spray my hair with the Verb Ghost Hairspray and give this a shot. Just to add a little bit of hold to the curls before they like completely cool. All right, there you go. Nice blown out curls. It ends up being so worth the process for me because now I have hair that looks like this pretty much all week. So now I'm just going to again add a little bit more hairspray. The only thing I struggle with really is getting this side of my hair to flip out like this side and stay that way. Like if I curl this side, it stays like this for the most part. This is my struggle side right now. It looks okay, but I just don't know what it is. I can never get this side to look as good. I lied. Last and final touch for real for real is the 
hair, hair cream that I always use. I mentioned this before. I always have one in my car and in the bathroom and it's for flyaway. So you guys see the little hairs right there. It's a mask, like a mascara one. And all I do is sweep it on those little hairs and it makes them go down without adding any residue, any anything. It literally just tames the flyaways. And this is the best thing that I have found for that. I've tried pomades, I've tried oils, and nothing works like this. So you can see all my flyaways have been tamed. And my hair is ready for the week. I just made it home. It's been a long day. For some reason, I haven't been home like all day long for the most part. But it's uh, 5.30, so I'm starting off the vlog today a little bit later. I have some ingredients here because I'm going to try out a new recipe right now that I'll show you guys. I am craving sweets right now, and I think it's about to be that time of the month let me check i actually meant to check because i'm like something going on yep that's <laughs> crazy that's freaking crazy how we just know our bodies like that it's supposed to start in what is going on all this stuff is popping up no i don't want to do none of this my cycle is supposed to start in three days and usually the week of or a few days before I start craving sweets. That's insane. So that makes sense. I was at the store. I picked up M&M's, some watermelon, and then I wanted to get ice cream so bad because I don't have any here, but I didn't. But tonight I'm gonna try to make a salmon recipe because I've had salmon in here for a few days. I think I'm gonna do like salmon, rice, a salad, kind of something along those lines. And I was actually on my Instagram and somebody tagged me in this salmon recipe and that's what I'm gonna try today. Shout out to Leah or Laya, L-I-Y-A. She tagged me in this salmon recipe. So I'm gonna try it out. There aren't any measurements on here, but I'm just gonna eyeball it and see. So it needs parsley, adobo, sazon, garlic, and onion, lemon juice, and corn starch. I just finished cooking. I'm not gonna lie, I tried the salmon because I completely forgot that I was vlogging, but it tastes good. I should have added a little bit more seasoning, maybe. Not seasoning, no, actually, no. It's good. It's really good. And I served myself some Caesar salad. I just took a picture and some rice. But it has a little spice to it because of the red pepper flakes. And it's also 
it's moist but it's crispy because you add the cornstarch and it has a good taste it does it, it's kind of a little bit of a switch up than the salmon that i normally make so i recommend it this right here is exactly how i felt okay <laughs> just finished up getting my lashes done they're nice and full and i'm so happy because this time i asked for volume because before i i like to get a classic set because i love the way that it looks but obviously a volume set is fuller and it lasts a little bit longer so i was like hook me up this time give me a volume set and hopefully i'm sure it'll last me until like christmas time and then i already set up my next appointment with her too um i'm headed right now to get some food I'm gonna go to Panera to get a soup and a salad. I got a Caesar salad, of course, and a chicken noodle soup, just to keep it like light and filling. And then we'll see, I, I kinda want like a pasta for dinner, that's why. And then, what else am I doing? Oh, I have to go home and make an invitation for Christmas because my mom is hosting Christmas this year at her house. And so she asked me to make an invitation for her. I'm gonna use that same website that I showed you guys to make that little sign. What else do I have today? Oh, Christmas gift wrapping. I wanted to do today, but a few packages have gotten delayed in shipping. One of them, one or two got delivered today and then another two are coming, should be coming tomorrow. So I have to wait until those come in. Or I, I have a few gifts at home that I could wrap, honestly. And then I wanna do a gift guide, but like, two of the things that i wanted to feature in the gift guide are in those packages and if they don't get here today or tomorrow i may not have time to film it until friday and i wanted to post it before the weekend so i'm kind of like stuck there's still enough time to give you guys ideas and inspiration for gifts but you know a lot of the stuff's from amazon so i want to make sure to get that out for you guys It is raining outside and I'm pulling up to Starbucks to order a cold Starbucks drink. That's just how I do. <laughs> I am trying another new drink today, so let me see. Hopefully I can order this right. Thank you for choosing Starbucks, how can I help you? Hi, can I get a grande sugar cookie almond milk cream frappuccino? You said a, a grande sugar cookie almond milk frappuccino? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. What size on that? A grande? Oh yeah, grande. grande. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. And did you want the coffee or the cream base on that? Can I do a coffee base? Absolutely, you got it. And then I want to add peppermint syrup and instead of the red and green sprinkles, can I do the red holiday sugar sprinkles? Oh yeah, absolutely. One second please. Okay. So complicated, I know. I'm going to try it so bad. Awesome. Anything else for you today? Can I do a butter croissant? Absolutely. Did you want that warm? Yes, please. You got it. And that's it. Awesome. That'll bring you up to 840 for the butter croissant and the wrap, okay? Thank you. The only thing is that on rainy days when you go to the drive through if it's not covered up, the entire inside of your car just gets soaked. I should have brought like a napkin or something. Hi. Good, how are you? It's gonna be 8.40. Here you go. Thank you. So, I think I want to head to Target right now. Hold on. I'm gonna try this drink. 
because I want to find a new comforter. And then I'm going to go to lunch after this. It's good. It, I ordered it wrong though. It's supposed to be a cream base. So the drink's supposed to be white actually. I asked for it with a coffee base though. Because I want coffee. But I maybe should have tried adding like a shot of espresso or like something different. I'm gonna order it again. Maybe tomorrow. Let's see how it goes out. But it's supposed, the drink's supposed to be white. I'm heading to Target right now. Because I want to look for a new comforter. I think I said that. And then I want to finish Christmas shopping because I want to do some gift wrapping I think tonight or tomorrow. So I want to get most of the gifts because I'm moving next week and I'm not trying to be packing and wrapping and doing one of them. So I'm going to try to get that done. Lady, I'm trying to turn. Thank you very much. I keep drinking this drink, trying to see if I like it or what. The peppermint makes it taste a little bit like the Olive Garden chocolates. Yes, that's kind of what I'm getting. But with, but with coffee and whipped cream. Mm hmm that's what it is as much as I want to finish that croissant it don't even make no sense because I'm about to go eat but I had to get something in my system because the way that my stomach was screaming was crazy put on my Instagram stories what um, what I should talk about while doing my gift wrapping today like some topics and somebody had asked me my thoughts on gift cards versus gifts for the holidays and honestly for me I would I do either one but the thing that I do if I'm giving somebody a gift card is I add a little something to the gift card because some people honestly like especially more of like the teenagers or like more of my cousins that are around my age or a little bit younger than me or whatever would prefer like a little gift card or something and I don't mind receiving gift cards for the holidays either because I can buy whatever I want or it's something that I know I'm gonna use if that makes sense and they'll know it's not going to waste either but I like to add a little something and that's what I've realized too when people give me a gift card it's not just a gift card usually they'll put it in like a little wallet or they'll put it in a little Starbucks cup like this but empty and they'll put the little gift card in there or like in a mug or something small or a chocolate like a box of chocolates they'll tape it on there and that's what I do too if I'm giving somebody a gift card I'll add something to it that's less expensive that I know that they will eat or that they will use um, like a pair of socks like an actual cute pair of warm fuzzy socks and then add the little gift card in there I mean honestly you can just give a gift card if you want to but for the most part that's what I do it's not I'm not like anti gift cards for the holidays I personally like to take time to look for something for people that I know that they will like but sometimes you have those people that are kind of a little more tricky so I'll do a gift card but I also know not everybody's like that so just do what works best for you and people are gonna be grateful or should be grateful for whatever type of gift you give them so I oh and I have to go to Sephora too to do a return but <sighs> I ended up finding what I was looking for. That's the comforter right there that I wanted to get the Casaluna cotton comforter set. That way I don't have to do the duvet and all that stuff. So 
Uh, luckily, they did have it in stock online. It said they only had one, but they had a lot of them. So I am excited. I also found some... Um, there you go. Some holiday gifts. So I was able to check some people off of my list, which is always a good thing. I'm having such a hard time though finding gifts for certain people. More like the teens where you're like, you're not sure really what they're into. Like you don't know if to get them like more adult-like-ish things or if they still like the teen, like younger stuff, so. Like I just don't like getting like anything. I wanna try to find things that I know people will actually use, so. This weather, <clears throat> my gosh, so cuddly. It makes me just want to like cuddle up. But um, obviously it's the evening now and I have all of the gifts that I need to wrap. I have them all on my rug by the Christmas tree. I was gonna do some tonight, but I think I'm gonna hold off and do it. Maybe oh, tomorrow's Friday, I won't be able to tomorrow. When can I wrap this stuff? I could do some now, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But I wanted to show you the bedding that I got. My face is a little so oily. Bedding that I got from Target. So I show I showed you guys what it was called, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now that I um, put it on here. It's drying right now, but I bought this off of Amazon to add some extra cushion on my bed and it feels like it's gonna Ooh, I can't wait to sleep in here it feels like it's gonna do the trick because I ended up removing the cover that came with the mattress so I was like I need something that's gonna protect the mattress and I decided to go with something that was cushioned I'll link this below but you can see it's like nice and thick and it feels really Lush, like a huge pillow for your bed pretty much and with this I have to keep rotating it because it's huge now that the cushion is under here this part is not fitting like it used to because it's a lot thicker now so hopefully it doesn't slip out <laughs> The next three, and then you stop at like the one. You break the two. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, show us the inside. <laughs> <laughs> Vlogmas. <laughs> it is time to do the gift wrapping and I'm so excited. So I have two stations going, I have this station, all the gifts are over there and then I have this station and I have that station over there. So I'm probably gonna start over here in this first station where I have the boxes to put anything that needs to be in a box. Hopefully this is enough and hopefully they're big enough for the stuff that I have. And then I have tape of course, but the tape I'm gonna put it in here because I have these wrap, this is called a wrap buddy. I showed it in the hall where I did my holiday home decor haul. Basically it holds your gift wrapping paper with these clamps. All you do is you literally just clamp it on there and then you add your roll of tape here and then you, you can easily roll it out and it just makes gift wrapping a lot easier and smoother that way you're not trying to hold it and cut it and all of that so that's really handy and then my second station that's all the stuff right there that's, that's gonna be for my gift guide but i have this station where i'm gonna do the final touches and then put anything in bags that isn't gonna be wrapped in a box like over there and right here i have the gift toppers the ribbon the to and from little cards and then so i can write the names and then from there it's gonna go under 
the tree. So those are the two stations that I have going. A few days ago, I had put a question box on my story. That way you guys can give me topics on a few things to chat about while I'm gift wrapping. I'm trying to pull it up right now, hold on. So the number one question that I'm getting is how am I feeling? and how i'm doing and i'm doing good i think a lot of people think that i'm not doing well but i am or would assume that i wouldn't be doing well because of the transitional period that i'm going through right now but no i'm doing just fine i'm definitely looking forward to getting the holidays like really going next or this upcoming week i should say because it doesn't really feel like christmas just yet i think it doesn't hit me until the week of when it's really like family time and everything and one of the things that i'm really really excited about is the fact that i'll be closer to my family right when the holidays are gonna hit i mean for thanksgiving i was still out here in the IV, but now i'll be going back to my old stomping grounds which i'm excited about first i was a little and i still am a little i wouldn't say nervous but a little sad i guess because i really like where i live in terms of the not location because it is further from my family but as far as the way it looks out here in the suburbs if that makes sense like the greenery the slow paced lifestyle it's very peaceful and just different than more of the city life even over there like in the la area i it's not like my family or i live in downtown or anything but still like the cities that are in la county it's still a lot of traffic and it's just more of a fast paced go 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 lifestyle and so that part makes me a little bit sad because i wish i can bring what's over here over there or bring all of my family over here and it's crazy because i'm really not even far from my family but it does make a difference taking that you know 40 45 minute drive it's not as easy as like hey come on down you you know 10 minutes away or whatever and so it's a bitter sweet i would say but aside from that i'm doing well and i am looking forward to moving i know i'm gonna be sad because living out here this is also one of the cities that i was like i never thought i would be able to afford to live out here and so um, that's one of the things i'm getting asked too is like why i'm moving and it's more so to be closer to family maybe one day when i have a family of my own and all of that stuff i'll come back out this way but i am doing good thank you to everybody who asked so i don't forget who the gifts are for on the tape on the back i'm just writing the name so that when i come to this station i know what uh what name to put on the gifts because i didn't even think about that but i don't want to be um going from one station to the other i just want to keep it easy but let me get to another question right here 2022 goals is it crazy that i haven't really thought that far ahead and it's not even that far because uh it's like tomorrow <laughs> usually you guys know i will do a vision board and all of that but this year i'm not really there just yet i think because of the fact that i am moving soon i haven't really had time to sit and really reflect on the past year and think about what it is that i want to achieve for 2022 i guess and on at, on the same note i'm not really being too hard on myself about it either of course i have business goals and financial goals and you know things like that when it comes to work those are usually pretty cut clear like especially because throughout the year i am talking to my manager about where we are and if we've hit goal and everything like that and this past year did really well we surpassed the goal for the year as far as campaigns and financially and all those different things so that's usually pretty clear like okay next year this is what i want to hit but as far as other goals i I have to 
I have to really sit and uh, think about that one. If somebody asked, how do you do it on your own? I mean, living by yourself. Um, in general, people living on their own, like you have to figure it out. Bills got to get paid. You still have to come through regardless. So you would do it the same way, honestly, if you were living with somebody or if you were living alone. Of course, you have to, or you might, somebody might have to budget a little bit more or figure out if they need to downsize or whatever the case may be, but that's how it is. Like if you, if you're asking a question because you're wondering how it is to live on your own or you want to do it yourself, that's pretty much what you do have to do like it's not <laughs> it's not much different aside from the fact that you have to be more mindful of your expenses and of your finances how do you keep your hair dry in the shower a shower cap this is a very common question i get and i answered this actually in my hair care favorites video but that's all i do is i just put a shower cap on my head and call it a day <laughs> What are you loving most about this season in your life? I think, um, what, is, what am I loving the most? It's kind of hard to answer that because obviously a lot of things are uh, like look a little different to you guys. But for me, a lot of things are, even though they are a little different, are similar. So like I'm still living life on my own terms like I have been and independent and doing all of those different things and those are things that i'm still enjoying right now too but they're also things that i've been enjoying for like a lot of my now adult life so i don't know if there's like a whole lot that i'm like oh my gosh like this season of my life has been very um eye-opening or i'm finding myself or any of that stuff and it's not one of those things where i'm like oh my gosh i'm finding myself again in the sense of like i felt like i lost myself or anything like that because it really was not like that you guys i know what it does feel like to lose yourself especially like in my early 20s and i definitely don't feel like i'm you know like that right now being present in, in every moment now even more than ever and just adjusting and i'm trying to really just enjoy the season that i am in and learning how to adjust and pivot which is key because there are going to be a lot of moments in your life when it comes to business when it comes to relationships when it comes to family when it comes to anything where you're going to have to pivot and where things aren't going to go the way that you expect them to go and one thing that i am learning is that that is completely okay because especially me being somebody that I like to be very hands-on and I know what I want and I know the timeline in which I want it and I'm definitely more of a planner sometimes with certain things and so just learning how to adjust and take a step back and being like okay you can pivot and you're gonna have to pivot sometimes and that is completely okay um, so I'm, I'm just having fun learning that side of me. I'm like, is my food almost here? I ordered Pollo Loco again, which I had earlier last week. But to you guys, it's going to seem like I just had it because I was talking about it in my last vlog. Yeah, they're still waiting for my food. It's crazy. Okay. Next question. How to handle social media comparisons. For me, sometimes I, you know, have to, I do have to check myself sometimes and be like, you are not gonna be like that person and you're not gonna have what that person has and you are in a different path and all those different things. I think it's just constantly reminding yourself that you are different. As much as we are alike, we are also very different and our paths are gonna look very different to get the things that we want. So um, unplugging, sometimes you do have to unplug from social media and really check yourself and be like, look, this is the way they're living their lives. And I know people say like social media is fake or that it's not real. I have a different take when it comes to that stuff because I think, I think social media is actually very similar to real life in the sense that in real life, 
you like people that you know in real life don't always share everything that they're going on everything that they're going through in their life and their relationships and their business or whatever a lot of the times people are going to share their accomplishments and the thing the good things that they're going through although sometimes you do get those more vulnerable moments where people are willing to say hey i went through this to get this or i'm not feeling my best right now or whatever but for the most part people aren't going to go out there and be like hey i am going through this or whatever and so we're on social media all the time so it seems like you're only getting the good and all these different things but in the real world it is also that way you only want people to perceive you a certain way in real life too and you pick and choose what you share with certain people in real life too and that's kind of how it is on social media too however don't get me wrong there are a lot of things on social media that are a little bit more cringe and you can tell like okay y'all are really not like this or you don't really have this or your relationship's not really like this or like you can feel those types of energies on social media for the most part but the good thing about social media too is that you can pick and choose what you want to see what you don't for the most part you can adjust those things follow who you want follow who you don't want and all of that so i don't know i kind of have like different different um i, I kind of went like on a different path with that answer but i don't know i kind of have different opinion sometimes when it comes to stuff like that how is it moving during the holidays I, well it hasn't been that bad but i think the reason why it hasn't been that bad is because well first of all i was i keep looking for the tape and the tapes right here first of all i was supposed to move like a few weeks back when i had done my life update which is not up anymore <laughs> but when i had done my life update i had thought i was gonna move within that same week and then a lot changed like a lot changed like this which is why i don't want to say i regret doing the life update then but i kind of wish i would have like waited a little bit but anyway so a lot of stuff shifted and changed since filming that video and it's only been a few weeks but anyways what i was saying with that is i was supposed to move within that same week i think and and i ended up getting a call that i wasn't and then i was like shoot like everything was just everywhere and it was very it felt very frantic even though it was not whatsoever and so now i've had time to kind of sit in the fact that i'm about to be moving and kind of be like okay how do i feel about me moving and leaving here and going over there and i kind of already forgotten how my apartment looks over there so i'm kind of like what is it like over there i already forgot and i want to go see it again and because i remember when i had gone i was super excited and i was like no doubt in my mind like i want to move right now and i'm like i already forgot and so i'm kind of looking forward to getting that spark again when it comes to seeing it and moving and all of that in terms of actually packing and wrapping gifts and decorating but packing at the same time and all that stuff it hasn't been that bad because even when i was supposed to move then i had i would have had some time to move my stuff out i would have had about a month or like three weeks to move my stuff out from here because of the way that my lease over my leases overlap but now I'll have a week, I think about a week, to move all of my stuff out. And so I'll still have time, whereas before when I would move y'all, it would be like same day. I would have to have all my stuff out, have the apartment cleaned up and ready for inspection. And that is a lot. It not only is moving stressful, but having to have all of your stuff moved out and have it spotless from ceiling to floor the same day is a lot so i'm glad that i'll have a little bit of time this time to kind of really like okay this day i can move all of this stuff and this next day i can move that stuff and take my time and not feel like it's so rushed and i've also been decluttering a lot which is good because i'm obviously moving right before the new year and i know for the new year usually myself and a lot of people in general like to get rid of any crap 
that they don't use, don't want, don't need. And so I've been able to do that because of the fact that I'm moving and I'll be moving for like right before the new year. So I'll be starting completely fresh with no junk, new space, and I'm looking forward to that. I'm gonna take a quick break to eat my food. I open the door right now and it smells like burnt, like somebody is burning something. I'm like, what is going on? That food was so good. <laughs> All right, moving along. I want to try to finish up the gifts that I have. Because I have some things that I have put on the side because I'm going to do, I'm going to film my gift guide on Monday. And so I have to still wrap some of those things. Not a lot because a lot of things are mine, honestly. But I have like one or two gifts there that I need to wrap. But I really am trying to crank, crank this out as fast as i can all right advice on moving in with a significant other so with this there's a lot that can go into it to be honest but for sure the first thing that you want to do is make sure that y'all both are trying to move in together for the most part i mean first and foremost i should say like y'all want to make sure you are both on the same page with that and then the second thing I would say is to uh, decide who is paying for what. Well, you definitely want to both be sure to, you know, know what expenses are going into it. And both, look, you guys both need to calculate each of your expenses as an individual. Like, okay, this is what I pay my phone, my this my that my student loan my car by myself and then your significant other needs to do that for themselves as well and then from there you want to take into account your rent your utilities uh anything that you're going to be paying once you live together and um, then from there you can kind of decide if you want to go 50 50 30 70 zero 100 like you guys need to decide that first and foremost and you also should talk about what happens if i can't come through with my side like my percentage or whatever like what do we have a backup plan like do we have money saved on the side extra in the case of emergencies which you should and really dive deep into like all of that stuff because that is super super key and then once you have that down, the more like harder things to talk about and the more like serious things to talk about, have fun with it. Living your, with your significant other is so fun. And it can, it's like, it is what you make it. If you're like, oh my gosh, they're gonna be all up in my business or I'm not gonna have my own space anymore or they're gonna put their shoes here and I'm not gonna want them there. And if you're thinking about all of that stuff, then that's what you're gonna be focusing on and you're probably gonna have a terrible time and <laughs> you don't want to do that when you're living with your partner like that's you're creating your home together and you're living together and seeing each other's habits day to day and enjoying each other's company every day for the most part so have fun with it and enjoy the process because it really is fun to live with uh, a partner and like i said it's really what you make it favorite gift to receive look as i'm getting older because i'm able to buy a lot of the little things and the bigger things for myself too but because i'm able to do so i appreciate more of the um things I don't prefer to buy myself gifts and it can be anything small from like a huge pack of dishwasher pods or laundry pods or whatever like I would love if somebody gave me a big jumbo pack of something like that that's like I hate buying this but I need to buy it because I need it I also love more of the nicer, bigger gifts too. Like I love small things down to that, but I also like receiving, or I would love to receive like a trip to go somewhere or a watch or a bag or jewelry. Not really jewelry actually, I'm not a huge jewelry person, but like 
you know, I like both and both spectrums or both sides of the spectrum when it comes to receiving gifts. I love my favorite thing that I feel like nobody can ever go wrong with if it were to come to me is flowers. But obviously, people don't give. If you're talking about uh, holiday gifts, people don't really give flowers. Like that's not really like a gift that people give for the holidays. But in general, like I like. I love flowers, like flower me up. <laughs> I, I don't, and I know it's the most common basic gift, but you can customize flowers, you can get small flowers, you can get big flowers, you can get white flowers, you can get different, like, I love flowers. I, I, that's one thing that I feel like nobody can ever go wrong with, at least for me. And then of course, the other precious, gifts of life that aren't physical things time quality time spending quality time with loved ones <laughs> one of my favorite gifts to receive is effort like time and effort are timeless gifts that can be given any time of the year for anything so there's that 2021 christmas list like my wish list Actually, I'll save that for when I do my holiday gift guide. How do you maintain such a positive aura? I would say first and foremost, one of the things that I really uh, take the time to sit in sometimes is the fact that we only live this life one time. And that's not to say, like what, I, what I'm about to speak on when it comes to being more positive, that's not to say that I don't have bad days or I don't have off days or I don't have days where I don't feel myself. I'm a normal human being with flesh, okay? Even though you guys watch me on social, like social media and through a screen, I'm not a virtual character. Like I'm a real person. Like I feel things too, I go through things too and I have to live my life through those feelings and through those things too. And I'm not always a positive person. I have an attitude sometimes and I get pissed off sometimes too. Don't get me wrong. I think one of the things that helps if you're somebody that, you know, you're finding yourself down in the dumps a lot or you're looking at life in a more negative light, we literally only get to live this life one time. And if you really sit and think about that, and real life like it can get like even thinking about it i get emotional because it's like we we get a chance every day but we only get the chance to live that day one time like we don't get to repeat the past or change things or anything and one of the things that i don't want to live my life doing all the time at least is being down on myself being negative seeing other people's success or what they have or whatever and feeling bad or negative about it. No, I get to choose just like they do how to live my life and I want to be more of a positive person. I wanna care for the people that I love. I wanna care for myself. I want people to care for me and I wanna uplift people. I want, even if I'm not uplifting people, just doing nice things and I don't, it's just why be negative all the time? I think that takes more strength and energy than to just be nice, just be like a kind human being. And it doesn't feel forced to me either. I just feel like that's kind of part of who I am in a sense, like I don't, like I don't, I don't know, I don't feel like I'm trying to be like jolly and positive and give you all of this positive energy. I just feel like it just come, like I just am that way. And to you guys, you guys are like, you know, how are you always so okay? And I'm like, I don't know, like this is just kind of how I am sometimes. So I don't know, I don't force it. I feel like it's just part of my, part of my nature. What do you do to budget or do you budget for Christmas slash holiday shopping? I used to have to budget a lot, a lot more. And that's not to say that now I just go out and spend like whatever I want. But when I did have to budget a little bit more when it came to holiday stuff, one of the things that I would do is spread out my holiday shopping. So I would try to do some shopping earlier in the year 
or a few months before the holidays would come around because it that way it wouldn't first of all come out all from where did my sharpie go come out right here come out all from one check when i was working you know retail and stuff like that and um putting money to the side i before wasn't the best saver i didn't become a really really good saver until i got a little bit older i want to say within the past few years especially being that i have learned to kind of maximize my income so obviously that helps too but biggest tip i would say is trying to spread out your christmas shopping within different checks and try to i mean now it's too late obviously to crank it out months sooner because we're already in december but for future reference that's definitely something that you can do someone asked do you want children and yes i do i've always been really open about that i've wanted kids since i was like young 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 i've always wanted to be a young mom and now that's like you know as time goes on i'm not as pressed as i used to be about having kids or er, yeah i would say as time goes on i'm not as like oh my gosh i like baby fever i have to have one but i do definitely want children and i want a big family it's just never like it always feels like it's never felt like the right time or like just to go at it so i'm just trying to be patient with myself and with you know everything really and just wait until that time comes and not try to rush it or dwell on it too much you know the fact that i'm not uh i mean i'm young still but that i'm not as young as when i first wanted to have kids or whatever because the reality is i would have regretted having kids at that age if i did so i'm just trying to remind myself of that even to this day so i'm just trying to be patient with everything and just let it happen when it happens but yeah i do want children <laughs> i had to situate myself i was gonna say right here but you can see the lines would have been all in my uh face and that was not gonna work i'm not done completely gift wrapping a lot of the stuff i still have stuff over there but i'm just um you know I'm gonna put some ribbons and stuff on the gifts that i do have wrapped up and then finish the rest of them off camera because if not we would be here for like four hours and we're not, we're not trying to breast revision update there's not much to update honestly everything's looking good uh this one the one that was the one that was giving me the most issues it still hurts a little bit uh like nerve pain under here but it looks a lot better so i'm just kind of trying to see and wait it out like see if that pain will go away after a few months it's already been a few months and i actually asked my surgeon like you know i'm still feeling this discomfort like what's going on and he's like just massage it and you know we'll see if it goes away within a few months and if not we'll kind of decide where, where to go from there but it's like oh well, i can't even describe the feeling and i've looked it up and some women have said that they've had that experience before with it uh but it, it's just kind of like more annoying than anything but they look good so it's like i think it's just a nerve like a, a pinched nerve or the weight of the implant or something that just like right here really bugs me it doesn't bother me when i'm wearing a bra that has wires and you know that's holding them up but when i'm wearing a sports bra or a more comfortable like a bralette or something it starts to hurt like automatically so it's it's not like excruciating pain but it is uncomfortable and it does hurt like i'm not even gonna lie to you guys so i'm just kind of like trying to wait it out and see if that discomfort will go away within time or what because i'm like does that mean i'm not gonna be able to like not wear bra like go up braless or wear bralettes because of the pain or whatever so i'm just taking it like not a day at a time but like a few months at a time and kind of seeing where it goes from there it does look better though i think it's just my breast tissue is not trying to do what it needs to be doing it's not trying to hold it up so um yeah but there's not much to really like update when it comes to that i don't think i'm gonna put ribbons and stuff on everything or i might not put ribbons and like 
this stuff on everything but i will put like some yarn because i have a bunch of this yarn i'm in my mid-20s and i feel like i'm staying behind in life tips this is something that is very common in your 20s and i think this is why people say that your 30s are your best years because i feel like all throughout your 20s you're really trying to find yourself i'm still in my 20s too i'm about to be 28 right <laughs> i gotta think about that i'm about to be 28 in february so i feel you girl i had my little quarter life crisis when i was about to turn 25 where i felt like my life was falling apart and so i I've, I've been through that too and honestly in your 20s i feel like those are the years where you kind of work with what you have and you make it work in that way and again feeling the feelings i feel like i say that often but i think a lot of times we try to skip through things and be like okay i want this to be over i hate it this is so like frustrating or whatever but like feeling what you feel in that moment will really in the future i believe get you to be like yo i really did that and i went through that and i'm here now and i'm doing good and i'm killing the game i honestly um, I'm not going to say that I'm like trying to speak to my 30s or anything like that, but I can't wait to feel what everybody says your 30s feel like. Like I'm not, at least not right now, maybe I'll change my mind when I get closer, but right now I'm not like, oh my gosh, I don't want to be 30, like da 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 da. Right now I'm kind of like, that, I mean, based on what everybody says, it seems like your 30s are pretty bomb. So I would say, first and foremost, realize that you are not alone and it is totally normal to feel that way in your 20s in your 30s in your 40s not everybody's timeline is the same i have seen a lot of different things happen for a lot of different age groups so don't be so hard on yourself comparison is the theft of joy so don't at least try not to compare yourself to what others have at your age because trust me there's a reason why you don't have those things for yourself. So just don't be so hard on yourself. That's the best advice I can give for somebody who is in their 20s, I believe, especially me being somebody that's in their 20s. Do you ever talk slash hang out with other YouTubers? I do. It's crazy because a lot of the content creators that I know, or not a lot, but some of them don't even live in LA, but we keep in touch via social media or on the phone or texting or whatever. So I do. Um, and I actually as of recently started to hang out more with, you know, content creators that are out here in like the LA area and stuff like that. I, uh, which I'm grateful for because I'm not someone that really goes to a lot of events and I'm not like a super mingler or like a talkative outgoing person. I'm usually very to myself. And pre-pandemic, uh, I, when I would go to events and stuff like that, I feel like I would instantly regret it because I really would not talk to anybody. I will show up to the event. I will just be looking around, I'll get my little drink and have some of the food that they have and mind my business. Like I wouldn't really approach people because I'm not I'm not that type. I'm actually very shy in person. So that would make it hard for me to actually mingle and make connections at events. So anyways, now though, I feel like I've been able to connect with more people most of the time because they reach out first, which I'm grateful for because <laughs> I am very, very shy. I feel like sometimes people probably like, well, how do you live in LA and you're not hanging out with all these different people? But it's like, I am just not the best initiator when it comes to friendships and stuff like that. I don't know what it is. It's just, I can, get like i'm like what do you want to say i just over freaking think things when it's like just chill like just chill but then once i do start to talk to people i feel like you know i really um can connect to a lot of people in the space because of the fact that we do similar things and it's really really freaking nice to get opinions and perspectives about certain things from people who do similar things that you do and that can be when it comes to work when it comes to relationships when it comes to friendships or family like 
different perspectives what is it like for you when you go through this like what do you do or how do you feel about being on social media and going through this or whatever like how do you manage it it's just so helpful because i don't know anybody in my family or like in my friend group or real life that does what i do like for real for real so it's kind of hard for me to really pinpoint what is quote unquote quote normal in the space or you know what i'm saying so it's just like really really nice and i do really appreciate the fact that i have people like that now it honestly is like everything so yeah <laughs> here's kind of the vibe i'm going for i feel like i'm just talking and not really showing a lot but this is like the one with the yarn and then this is the one with the ribbon i'm just keeping them simple usually i would do one across this way too but like i said i'm trying to save some of the ribbon and it ends up getting thrown away anyway so i'm just trying to add simple touches without you know wasting a lot of what i have dealing with toxic friends slash siblings i know for a while there we were going through like this cut off culture this cancel culture where it's like cut off anybody who messes up or makes a mistake or who you don't like or whatever um which is still you know if somebody is really messing with you or messing with your life or your feelings or your family or whatever then obviously do what you need to do but if it's somebody who is like toxic but uh, how do you say it like toxic but manageable like you can literally just decide when you want that person around you period learn to say no to those people when you need to and set your boundaries know your boundaries and set them and actually follow through with them you need to know their place in your life and they they will know their place in your life too once you show them and give them those boundaries they might not like it but it's necessary i didn't think this through how am i gonna or i can use a piece of yarn to tie it together that works i can even flip it if i want to actually not There's that one with the textured bark like look. Oh, this one's sweet. I'm missing Toby. Would you think about getting another pup? And I miss him too. <laughs> he was so cute and tiny. But um, I think about it sometimes, but then ugh, dogs are like, I like to have my freedom in the sense of like, I want to be able to go somewhere and not be like on a time crunch because i have to come home and make sure the puppy doesn't feel lonely or that you know they aren't home too long or like they have food and they're not tearing up the house and all those different things so i'm kind of like i'm torn because they're so sweet and they're so like cute and you know i love having puppies but they're just a lot so i've kind of gone back and forth about it i'm not super super there yet uh because of the fact that they are a lot of work but i don't know we'll see <laughs> we'll, we'll see uh any special tra traditions you do or have started i think a tradition for me will probably be that delivery driver car that we did last year and then this year so i think that's gonna be like a little tradition that just happens every year because i think it's such a nice gesture and i also enjoy seeing you know people's reactions and stuff like that when they put the package there and they see the the snacks so i think that'll probably be a tradition to carry on even into like my future little family I can just imagine doing that, you know, with kids and having them help with a little snack cart and putting the snacks on there, putting outside. And I think that's so sweet. And it's an act of kindness that I think would be definitely nice to pass on to kids and stuff like that. So, you know, just showing them to one, be grateful for what they have and be kind to the people that provide in this world in different ways. 
and to just give back like you know even if it's something small it's so appreciated and so um i think that'll be a nice tradition to uh sort of pass on and switch up you know every single year so i would say that's one of the things the sun is going down so i'm just gonna show you uh like one or two more of how i'm wrapping these gifts and then on my instagram stories more than, more than likely on my instagram stories and then on my last week of vlogmas oh i don't know because i'll be out of here probably on my stories and maybe probably on like the last week of vlogmas too i end up showing you how all the gifts look but you guys will see how everything looks at my old place because i think i'm gonna end up um having the movers figure out if they can just take my treat as is and load it up and then have me just redo it over there or something I'm, i don't know i'm gonna see how we can do it but i want to have my tree up over there too until maybe like january or so because i want to fully thoroughly enjoy the tree and i want to see how it looks in there too so and i want to be able to have the gifts under the tree up until christmas because then if i move and i don't put my christmas tree up my gifts are just going to be there and it's like that's boring i want to have my tree and everything so um that way i can show you guys too how everything ends up looking underneath the tree and stuff so i'll show you guys that then i'm trying to see where i want to put the wreath should we do the middle yeah we'll do the middle and i was gonna tape it but i'm gonna use this yarn instead dead uh this is kind of tricky i didn't think about oh there i think that <laughs> looks like that it's a little wonky but has a tiny breeze on there i think that's fine yeah and then the last one would be just plain black ribbon which would be like that i also have velvet black ribbon but it would basically be the same thing it's a little or I, I don't know if i have velvet actually i think i have a thinner black one if i'm not mistaken i'm just trying not to waste so much and really only using the amount that i need okay so these are the four different uh, kinds of gift wrapping I think I'm gonna stick to so we have the matte black with the silky black luxury looking ribbon we have the garland a garland wreath green wreath with the more natural looking yarn we have just the yarn by itself cute simple with a touch of texture same with this one, cute and simple with a touch of texture. And then the last one is the white tree bark. Actually, I think I'm changing my mind on the white. I think I'm gonna just stick to these tones right here because I like the, like they're all transitional colors. They all kind of go together. And then the white is like a pop, which is cute, but I think I'm trying to go for more of the deeper moody look when it comes to the gifts and keep it majority darker. And then I think I'm going to just swap out this for the yarn, the good old yarn. That is how I'm wrapping the gifts this year. And then just adding the tags, which I still need to do these ones right here with the name and everything probably will tape them on there to be honest like underneath that is it though for this week's vlog it's starting to get a little bit dark because the sun is setting but hopefully you guys enjoyed you know the gift wrapping and the chatting and just more of the i can't even remember what happened this vlog but um 
I hope that you enjoyed it. <laughs> and next week is going to be a busy, fun, exciting, crazy, hectic week. I'm so looking forward to it at the same time, just really getting things going. And then it's like literally the holidays. Christmas is like around the corner and I love the holidays because everybody's in such a good mood and the gifts and the family time and the food and just the coziness and I mix so thank you guys so much for tuning in to this week's vlogmas hopefully you enjoyed it and that is it I love you guys and I will see you in I will actually see you in a few days for my gift guide video and then after that I think I'll see you for week three of vlogmas bye Thank <laughs> you.